And one of the things that my dad and I had always talked about was, was cars. And uh, over those years, he fell in love with one car in particular. It was a Corvette. Um, decided that he had to have one one day. It was about a dream. We bonded with this car almost immediately. And it was a silver 1969 Corvette. Chrome side pipes, red leather interior. It had all the options. And it was beautiful. And I got to feel like we were partners in this thing, that we were going to share this car together. Growing up in a small town, it's rural Western Kentucky and very much a driving car-oriented culture. And so being 16 was a big deal. When you could drive, that was a big deal. So in high school, I got to drive the car every now and then. Uh, the other thing that I got to drive most of the time was my dad's old white Ford pickup truck. My senior year, it was time to choose a school. And my dad basically said, you know, look, if, if you want to go to an in-state school, then, you know, we'll keep the car. Uh, and if you want to go to a private school, then we're going to have to let the car go. Um, and I'm going to let you drive the car, so it's really your decision. And uh, I decided that I wanted to, to go to a private school. The day that, uh, that this guy actually came to take the car was, uh, was not a good day. And as we watched it go down the driveway, I, I had this thought that didn't mean anything yet because I'm an 18-year-old kid, but it's like, we're going to get this car back. I don't know how and I don't know when, but we are going to get this car back. I'd fallen in love with eBay even back when I was living in, in, in Nashville before moving out for school. And uh, by the time that I did come out, I, I did a safe search for the car. It was silver 1969 Corvette. So every so often, for the past five and a half years, I've been getting these emails of these safe search results from eBay. And, you know, I, I'd open them sometimes and not other times because what were the odds? But I never gave up the dream of, of, of you know, looking for this car. In January, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday, I got another email, safe search, and I, I happened to open this one. And I could tell immediately from the thumbnail image that this was the car. And the bidding is going up. It's got a reasonable bin price, but still a lot of money for me. And I call my wife. I, I call her at home. I call her on her cell. I call her at home. I call her on her cell, and I can't track her down. And the bidding's going up, and it's going up, and it's going up. And I'm thinking, should I buy this car? Should I buy this car? And then I think, how am I going to feel if I don't buy this car? Every day for the rest of my life, I had the chance to buy the car. Um, so I, I clicked on Buy It Now, um, and I bought the car. And so it really is our car, and, and just like I shared it with my dad when I was growing up, you know, now there's three generations, and I've got a four-year-old son, uh, Dylan. He comes out just like me, um, and he wants to check on it. He wants to give permission when I'm actually going to drive it. He uh, helps me wash the car, helps me keep it clean, um, and uh, I've got a little bit of competition because he says it's his best friend. I work at eBay. The, the people who work at eBay don't just work there because they're amazing business models, which there are, or because it's fascinating, which it is, or because there's great people, which is true. Everybody who works there works there because there's something else, because of the impact that we actually are having in people's lives. And sometimes it's because we're making something possible that wouldn't have been possible otherwise. We're allowing people to be independent that never could have supported themselves otherwise. And sometimes it's, it's, it's just a car, but this is our car, and it's my dad, and it's high school, and it's my son Dylan who's four years old and living out on the west coast in California being able to pick up the phone and laugh and talk to his granddaddy about a shared experience as though they're in the same place at the same time. All of this is very meaningful to me, and, but I'm also a customer. And so as a customer, I just want to say thank you. Every single day, you do a very, very cool thing. Thank you.